The Demon Church is known as one of the most haunted buildings in all of Great Britain. The building itself appears to be an hotspot in terms of paranormal activity. Throughout the years this isolated and abandoned church has had many dealings with satanic cults and worshippers. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! With animal sacrifices taking place within these very walls and reports of a monk-like figure being seen, what will we encounter as we all once again step foot inside the demonic demon church? Tonight we investigate the Demon Church. excited about it because I know this is such an active place so I'm really looking forward to what we might get tonight. So what we've got here we've got a couple of pieces of equipment we've got a K2 meter yeah uh, we've got a motion sensor light hopefully we can get them both going off at the same time we can get a bit of double validation. What are we doing Matthew? This person to them put up here just in this entrance for them someone might pass through here. Is there any spirits in this church tonight with us? If so can you take some of the energy from some of the devices and make one of them that's scattered around alarm and illuminate? If you could, that would be absolutely fantastic. Come on, take some of our energy. We've got the EM pump there with the red light on. That is blasting out electromagnetic field energy, so you can take that. We've also got the plasma ball. You can use any of these devices, take our energy now and give us some sort of sign that you're here with us. I am quite sceptical about the existence of the paranormal. I understand there is a religious figure that is said to haunt these places. If you could give me any sort of proof at all there is life after death, I would really appreciate that. I am very open-minded. There's plenty of equipment scattered across this church, as Jason said. You can just interfere with any of that equipment Tap on the walls, make a banging sound. The last time I was here, I heard a woman speak from above. We know that animals have been sacrificed here during the 80s and 90s. And it made major headlines in the newspapers. I'd like to speak directly with the monk who is said to haunt this place. We do come with the greatest respect. We just want to communicate with you. Maybe you can pass us a message along. If we can pass a message to anyone living, if you'd like to give us that name when we use our spirit boxes later, we'll do our very, very best to do that. Maybe what's here is the very most. Like Jason said, we've come in numbers tonight. We know that bad things have happened here. We've seen balls of light with the naked eye. We know that you're here yourself. 
trigger alarm at the doorway just behind Mark. So we obviously either entered or left the building. We know that you've not done anything physically just yet. Maybe it's a voice that you need. And we do know, guys, that when you open the spirit box, stuff comes in and they know that you're here. I think at this stage we should just do a short five minute burst just to see if we can capture anything and then we hopefully open up a chain of communication. Did you see a murder? Yeah. Can you see us? Is everybody here with us now? Can you say my name? Kevin. Did you say your name was Kevin? Come on, use this device. Speak to us right now. There's a lot of noises going on behind me. The spirit of the monk goes to walk these grounds is here tonight. Can you come forward and speak to us using the device that Jason's holding in his hand? Give us your name. Charlie. 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 What was killed inside this church? Proposals. Proposals. Proposals for what? That's a, oh my god. He's all Bob, What happens within this church? Satanic rituals are taking place inside this church between the 80s and 90s. Are you associated with the demonic beings? Is that why you're still here? We've come here tonight for Halloween to provide evidence of the paranormal. I'm dressed as something that we are looking for. Do you know what that is? What does this mean? Whoa. Whoa! It's going off here. Ooh! He's on this cross. We're using it for protection tonight. Past 11. So let's just see that time, Matty. It comes on. 23 or 3. Could you maybe tell us what you've got to do with this building? Well, an alarm I've just heard about. Yeah. I don't know if that comes through the spirit box. And so, what we're doing, we're going to put some trigger objects down. Yeah, we've had some great responses through the spirit box, so we are quite confident that there is something here wanting to communicate. So all we're doing is giving it every single option that we can in order to do that, and these might be the ones. They roll quite easily, so hopefully, with the right amount of pressure, we might be able to get in contact with something. There's holes in this floor, however, it's perfectly sturdy, yeah, it's yeah, perfectly it's level. Yeah, it's solid. And obviously you've got something that you Yeah, I've got somewhere. Basically it's the same, uh, round balls, can't light on, and they are motion sensors, so as soon as the ball moves it will light up and illuminate. We know that you guys have got power and you can do things. We've caught things on camera moving by itself in the past. Is there any way that you can do that right now? We're just looking for something to move. We will be amazed if you can provide us with that evidence that we require. Use our energy or any of the devices that are situated around this room to manipulate these objects in front of us within this circle. Later on, a couple of us will be staying. Wait, wait, wait. That has not moved at all, and I'm looking at that. that there's is no not, draft. There's nothing, it's not moved at all. The ball has not physically moved. Spirit, last time I came to this place, I stayed in here on my own and communicated with something. 
And with the nature of the language used, I don't believe it was something positive. There was a lot of swearing in there. They were calling me stupid. So I'd like to talk to that thing. I say thing because I don't believe it was human. So I'm going to grab this cross and I'm going to turn it upside down. I want you to draw power from this. I want you to use that power from this satanic symbol, an upside down crucifix. I believe the evil entity here, from all the satanic rituals, is a lot stronger than the good. So literally guys, we're just preparing the next experiment and the motion alarm's just gone off at the door. What is going off? So as we promised guys, we've decided to leave the demon church with the Lord's Prayer playing in reverse. Mark, if you want to set that off, we'll make us way outside. It's lasting around seven minutes, and then we'll return and carry on with the experiment. So tonight guys, we have decided to conduct a Ouija board session within the grounds of the church. But we're hoping, with what we've stirred up so far, that we will get some positive results by using this piece of equipment. We've used it on various other investigations and we've had a lot of meaning to what has actually come through the board. So we're hoping to be stirring up something tonight and get some results. I love doing Ouija boards, as you know, I am quite sceptic about things, but this is the one piece of equipment I cannot explain. I don't move it. I'm very confident Mark don't move it, but this is the one piece of equipment I can't explain that we use in any of our investigations. So if we get something through, we'll do his research, we'll find out what it means, and we'll see what happens. He's the monk that roams the grounds of this church and the graveyard with us tonight. board is just spelt out rest. Where we have the Ouija board place tonight, is this a place where you are laid to rest? S. T. O. P. Stop. Would you like us to stop this session? Yes. Something that is quite apparent. Ouija boards aren't known for attracting positive things. And um, we are currently on the vicar's grave. Obviously vicar, man of God, positive things. This is the vicar. Probably doesn't like us doing this, but would a vicar in the spirit form be using a Ouija board at all? That's something that is obviously questionable. Yeah. Are you happy we have the crosses placed tonight? C. D. C. 
C D C D C D possible initials are these your initials that you're spelling out? Q E I want to talk directly to the evil presence in this church, the one that encouraged and thrived off Satanism. Are you there with us? Can we talk to you? Yes. Can you give me your name? Spell your name for us, please. M. O. No. I want to know your name. Why won't you tell me your name? M. Oh, no. Are you affecting Alex more than me? Because the last time we were here, it was a little bit disrespectful, it was a little bit abrupt. Maybe you remember that. And I still feel the exact same way. Yes. I do not believe in your existence. Prove me wrong. See? You. M T So, the last time we were here, Alex attempted to communicate with you using a spirit box, which is a device that does give you a voice. You did use profanities back then as well. Oh, no, I just heard like a whisper in me, it went and then slit the door. You were a bit of a bad yeah, edge. Yeah. Oop. S H F G Okay, so I think you're toying with us a little bit here now. We want some positive words. I'm moving plinth because I'm shivering that much. Can you give me a year that you died? Can you give me a year that is upon one of these graves? I'm moving plinth because I'm shivering that much. I'm moving plinth because I'm shivering that much. I'm moving plinth because I'm shivering that much. J A Is that actually A? It's as much as A, it's gonna get where I'm gonna fall. Yeah. S <laughs> Alright, okay. O N <laughs> Now that is just spelled Jason. Thank you for helping us tonight. We will continue conducting our investigation. You've got no permission at all to follow me and Mark. You know we have a direct communication with you. We cannot attach to this board. We are going to end all communication with you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye, spirit. So what we're going to do now is we are going to conduct our last spirit box session using a spirit box that we've used on other locations and in other areas and we've some really positive results. So the device that we are going to be using uses white noise. And when you use the white noise, it's coming through, manipulate it and speak. We've all been here before. Oh my god. Do you know who I am? Have I met you before? Do you maybe tell us your name? You've gone off. Maybe tell us your name.
Gun off. Gun off. Gun off. I hear you, that said. There's a satanic ritual that we performed here, bound you to this place. Speak into the camera. Show yourself as a ball of light or a full bodied apparition. So Mark's gonna perform a long vigil inside this church. We're gonna go outside, leave him alone. Just give us a call out when you're ready, Mark. I think what might make it a little bit more intense for Mark and a bit more exciting for the viewers to watch is if he actually did it blindfolded. Yeah. And then obviously he can't see what's going off around him. But obviously the camera doesn't lie. Well, it's going to be scary for him, that's for sure, because I'm absolutely terrified. <laughs> if he's up for it, he'll do it. If not, he can just rock and roll. How do you feel about that, Mark? <clears throat> well, I'm all in. I'm all in for cause. We are here tonight to prove there is existence of another realm other than the one that we walk in. So any evidence that I can provide by putting myself in that sort of position, I'm willing to do a full take of the paranormal. And on that note, let's blindfold him and leave him alone. Are there any spirits present with me right now with a positive nature? If so, there's a couple of devices around me that you can set off. If you just come into contact with them. In front of me, to left and right are two devices, black and red. If you touch the top of any of those devices, it will sound and illuminate. This will just alert you of your presence. As mentioned tonight, we don't mean to cause you any harm, any distress, or intentionally disturb you of your rest. I do know that many people do come here in search of the afterlife. We are here purely to prove that there is existence when you move from one plane to the next. Now behind me, see where the bell tower is and it's closed off. This looks to be why the scoreboards have closed it off. Down there, where the floorboards are that I'm speaking. And that brings us to the end of another fantastic investigation. Thank you all so much for watching our Halloween special. Let's talk about tonight, guys. What have we enjoyed? What have we found interesting? What's kicked off and what's going on? Well, me personally, I've got mixed emotions about tonight. Um, I mean, there's not so much been things happening. 
it's been like the last time we came, it was really quiet. But when we look back on camera, like they say, things have happened. Now, I know the way we actually look at, back at camera earlier, there was something like over it. And then we've heard things around us, we've heard footsteps, we've seen like uh, two things going off. And then obviously, the Ouija board, that was quite intense. Um, but now I've really enjoyed it. About you must be really good to watch footage of that. I hope you may have really thought for that. For me, the most interesting part of tonight, really, were these motion sensor balls that we put out. Yeah, that was good. Um, I saw it move, well, not move, I saw it, I saw it light up with my own eyes without physically moving. And then as we left the church and come back in, the balls all lit up. What about you on the Ouija board session? You went absolutely freezing. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy doing Ouija boards, they always seem to be extremely active, as I said, it's the one bit of evidence, if you want to call it that, that I can't explain as a sceptic from a sceptical point of view. There didn't seem a lot of energy in that Ouija board compared to when we've done them in the past, which is meant to be a good thing if there's not much energy there, but we did get some great responses. What about you, Mark? What have you enjoyed and what have you disliked? The whole evening I disliked the uh, long vigil, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's mixed emotions. Somewhere where I physically could not do a long vigil ever, I don't think. I'm still trembling from it. I'm still, well, I'm still a bit nervous, shaky, mixed emotions. Um, like I said, I did hear, I did hear like creaking what sounds to be the floorboards, and I mentioned on camera earlier. Behind me, there is what looks to be like a bell tower, which is capped off by floorboards. So, could there be someone up there? Could there be a spirit there? Who knows? Did we capture the ghost tonight at the Demon Church? You decide.